guys welcome to my channel IT support people this is Masood today I'll show you how to configure a Cisco 3602i autonomous or standalone access point using GUI interface basically this is my channel IT support people uh, in my previous videos uh, one is uh, connect Cisco router and switch to ISP home router and access internet in this video I got a lot of appreciation from the viewers and uh, uh, people requested me uh, making more video on access point and firewall uh, yeah, here is iron man he said uh, hi could you configure access point thanks and i replied that i'll make video on firewall and access point as well uh, in my other video uh, configuring vlan and allow vlan to access internet in this video you can see that uh, Hassan khan he said uh, one of the best video for the beginners can you make another video for ap and firewall please and uh, yeah a lot of appreciation and uh, yeah another people anthony louis he said uh, let's add a firewall and epi so which inspired me to make this video uh this time in this video i'm uh, i'll show you how to uh, configure cisco internet access point uh, with the gui interface but in my next video i'll show how to uh, configure Cisco Aronet uh, autonomous or standalone access point with the CLI command and I'll make another video uh, in future how to uh, convert uh, lightweight uh, Cisco access point to autonomous access point please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the all the latest video which I'll create in future let's get started First of all, I will show you the network topology for this network. Uh, here you can see uh, this is my Cisco 28W series router, and this is my layer 3 Cisco switch, and this one is uh, Cisco Yarunet 3602i autonomous or standalone access point. And this two one is my laptop, and another one is a desktop PC. Basically, for this video, uh, I'll focus on uh, this portion: how to configure Cisco access point, uh, a standalone access point uh, with the GUI interface. And I'll briefly uh, discuss uh, this portion, how to configure the Cisco router and the uh, IP address details, uh, because uh, I have done a, uh, I have done an YouTube video, um, how to configure. Uh, this is my uh, YouTube channel. I just support people. Uh, here is a video how to configure Cisco router and how to access internet through Cisco router. So I'm just giving a brief overview. Uh, you can see the gigabit zero slash zero port of the Cisco router is connected to the ISP uh, network and the gigabit zero slash one port is connected to the first Ethernet port of the switch and I have uh, created a DSCP pool in the Cisco router where the network is 192.168.2.0 and subnet mask is uh, slash 24 and the default router uh, IP address is 192.168.2.1 basically we haven't done anything with the switch uh, this is a layer 3 switch that's why all the ports belong to VLAN 1 and um, uh, the Cisco uh, access point is connected to the uh, first Ethernet uh, 0 slash 5 port of the switch and other end is connected to the Ethernet port of the uh, Cisco access point. Uh, actually the Cisco access point is uh, getting IP from the DHCP pool uh, which was created in the Cisco router. That's why I wrote here uh, 192.168.2.0 slash 24 where the default gateway is the uh, default gateway of the Cisco router. So for this Cisco access point, the default gateway would be 192.168.2.1, the default gateway of the Cisco router. Next, uh, I will show you how to configure the Cisco access point uh, with the GUI interface. Uh, once uh, all the configuration is done, then uh, we will connect uh, my laptop and uh, desktop PC to the radio wireless interface. And uh, finally, we'll check the connectivity by using internet. So let's go to the next step. Now I will show you the physical uh, connection of this network. Here you can see uh, that uh, this is a uh, this is my uh, Cisco 28WS uh, router, and uh, this one is my Cisco Catalyst uh, 3560.24 port PoE switch. This one is my switch, and here you can see that uh, the connection in the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port is coming from the gigabit 0 slash 1 port of this uh, Cisco router, and I connected. Uh, uh, my PC, uh, my laptop to the first Ethernet 0 slash 3 port of the switch uh, which is connected to this uh, laptop to access the the GUI interface of the Cisco access point and here you can see the first Ethernet 0 slash 5 this port uh, goes to the uh, this is the front side of my Cisco access point uh, and you can see the back side here you can see uh, the connection is uh, goes to the ethernet port of this uh, access point and this one is the console port and here you can see a black button this is a mode button 
which is used to reset the access point and here is my uh, laptop and this one is my uh, desktop pc one thing I, I want to mention here that uh, you can see there is no power cable in the access point because uh, it's uh, uh, connected to the poe switch uh, this one is a poe switch so it's getting power through the ethernet cable if you if your switch is not a poe switch then uh, you should have a poe in injector uh, now I will uh, connect the console cable uh, to the router and uh, quickly check the IP from the router. I just connecting the console cable to the router. I just connected the console cable to the uh, router console port. Uh, now I will open party. Before doing that I will check the COM port number. So just type device manager and go to device manager then go to uh, port COM port. Here you can see the COM port 9. So double click party, make sure the serial is selected. So I'll change it to no, COM port 9 and open, press enter. Uh, we uh, successfully enter the access the router. We go to uh, privilege mode and uh, quickly show the IP interface brief. Show IP interface brief. You can see the gigabit uh, Ethernet port 0 slash 1. Uh, the IP is 192.168.2.1 uh, according to the topology and uh, we'll check the configuration running configuration show running config here you can see the DHCP pool which is created in the Cisco router and the network uh, <coughs> is 192.168.2.0 this is the subnet mask 255 255 255 0 and the default router is the 192.168.2.1 and this is the DNS server, this is the Google DNS server because I don't have any DNS server. As I said, uh, uh, this laptop is also connected to the switch uh, for accessing the GUI interface, web interface. So if we go to the Ethernet port through Ethernet cable, so double click here. And you can check the IP address, IPv4, which is uh, getting IP from the DSCP as well. We can check it uh, different way. Uh, just type uh, cmd yes, it's already there and type ip config here you can see the ethernet ipv4 address is 207 and the default gateway is 2.1 uh, now i will uh, take out the console cable from the cisco router and put the console cable to the uh, access point yes As I just changed the uh, console cable from router to uh, Cisco access point, if I press uh, enter, you can see the console, it is consoling the access point. So if you go to privilege mode, enable, and the password is uh, Cisco, C is capital, C I S C O Cisco. Here yeah, we access the uh, Cisco access point. Uh, actually, I have divided the whole process into two parts. Uh, the part one is accessing the GUI web interface uh, of the Cisco access point. So uh, the first step is uh, uh, console the access point with party so we already console it with the password Cisco the next step is to reset the access point to the factory default setting so uh, before doing the reset uh, I quickly check the version so of the access point show version you can see the version yeah here is the model number and this is the software I, I, I software version uh, APG to K9 W7. W7 means uh, it's uh, autonomous or standalone. If it is W8, then it would be uh, a lightweight version. So next, uh, I'll check the uh, flash drive. So these are the files uh, stored in the flash drive. So now I'll show you how to reset the uh, how to reset the access point uh, with the mode button. Uh, it is recommended by Cisco to reset the access point before doing any configuration. Now I will show you how to reset uh, the Cisco access point uh, with the mode button. Uh, here you can see uh, a plug button here. This one is the mode button. Yeah, here is a written mode. Yeah, the down here. This is the mode button. So uh, to reset the Cisco access point, you have to press the mode button. Yeah, I just press the mode button with my uh, left thumb, and you have to take out the Ethernet cable. Yeah, I just take out the Ethernet cable. You have to press the mode button and just take out the Ethernet cable. Yeah. So yeah, release the mode button. 
then now again uh, press the mode button yeah i press the mode button and uh, you have to put back the ethernet cable again yeah yeah you, you can see in the the light is flashing green so still i'm pressing the mode button so i have to uh, hold the mode button until uh, the light changes to amber so you can see Yeah, the light changed to amber i release the mode button now it's uh, resetting the access point so you can see Yeah, you can see uh, it already been reset. You can check uh, the uh, uh, host name has already been changed before uh, before the reset. You can see the host name was AP1. So now the host name has changed. Uh, so we go to enable mode. Enable mode. The password is Cisco default Cisco capital C. So it's into the enable mode. Yeah, if you check the steps, the next step is to check the IP status and uh, put a static IP to BVI1 interface. So go to party and uh, go to enable mode, enable password Cisco, Cisco capital C, and uh, let's check the IP interface brief. Show ip interface brief you can see that uh, bvi interface is taking uh, ip from the dhcp uh, that is 192.168.2.3 so we'll put uh, the same ip uh, uh, statically so we have to go to global configuration mode configuration terminal terminal uh, go to interface interface bvi1 so we'll put the same ip address IP address 192.168.2.3 the subnet mask same with the network 255.255.255.0 uh, <coughs> then uh, no shutdown exit again exit uh, show I show IP interface brief you can see the same IP, but uh, this time the method is uh, manual. Before it was DCP. Uh, now we have to uh, go to the next step. Uh, go to the web browser and type HTTP uh, and the IP address of the BVI uh, interface. So we know that uh, the BVI one interface is uh, 192.168.2.3. So uh, now we'll go to the browser and type uh, HTTP. 192.168.2.3 it will ask username and password leave the username blank and the password cisco capital c c i s c o cisco yes uh, yeah we successfully uh, log into the uh, cisco aeronet uh, 36 w access point uh, gui web interface uh, now i will go to the par uh, part two section uh, here i'll show the configuration of uh, yarnet access point with the wpa version 2 authentication in a gui mode so first uh, step is uh, i have to go to easy setup and under uh, network configuration i have to edit uh, ap hostname static ip subnet mask default gateway let's do this so this is the uh, gui interface so first i have to go to easy setup and network configuration uh, here you can see the hostname ap1 uh we can uh we can leave the hostname ap1 or we can edit it so uh so we can edit ap new uh, underscore new uh, new and uh, the ip should be a static ip the ip address is uh, all right uh, 192.168.2.3 subject mask is okay 255.255.255.0 but the default gateway should be uh 192.168.2.1 the default gateway we checked before and the cisco router and uh, i'll leave everything as it is and uh, if you want you can create a user you can give username password but i'll 
I leave it blank and uh, everything is default the SNM, uh, SNMP community mm, uh, I haven't done uh, I haven't done any uh, SNMP so it is default community means it's uh, disable so everything I leave as it is and just press apply and press ok ok then uh, yeah it's been changed the host name is AP new and uh, the next step is uh, under radio configuration uh, we have to create a SSID and we'll name the SSID LAN new uh, under the radio interface 2.4 gigahertz and we'll select the broadcast SSID in beacon so let's do this uh, we are in easy setup so now we'll go to a radio configuration so here radio 2.4 gigahertz we'll configure uh, 2.4 gigahertz we can uh, do 5 gigahertz later so we'll name it uh, WLAN underscore new and we'll uh, select uh, the broadcast SSID in Beacon. It will broadcast the SSID and the VLAN, no VLAN, and uh, one chance here universal admin mode. It should be disabled because it's a autonomous or standalone access point. A standalone access point doesn't support universal admin mode because uh, if you enable universal admin mode, uh, the access point uh, should be um, lightweight, controller, controller based lightweight, uh, which needs. Uh, universal priming so this time our access point is a standalone it doesn't suffer uh, it doesn't support uh, priming so the universal admin mode should be disabled and everything uh, i'll leave as it is this time no security uh, the ra uh, role radio network should be access point uh, no chance so i'll leave it as it is and uh, click apply okay so uh, now we'll check the ssid which we just created so go to security and click SSID manager uh, here we can see a current SSID double and new so okay the SSID is already been created so if we go to the next step uh, apply encryption method to AES CCMP so basically to uh, apply the WPA version to authenticated key we have to apply a uh, encryption so we'll apply a CCMP encryption so we have to go to the security here yeah, we are already in security to go to uh, encryption manager and we have to select cypher and we have to from the drop down we have to select a CCMP and everything I'll leave as it is I leave it default so I'll click apply to all press ok Yes, uh, it's now selected to cipher and the encryption mode is AES CCMP. If you go to the process, the next process is uh, enable WPA version 2 and apply WPA pre shared key to SSID. To do this, I have to go to security and then go to SSID manager. Then uh, I have to select the SSID name WLAN new. So only the uh, radio interface 2.4 gigahertz is selected. But we haven't uh, because we haven't we didn't select the uh, 5 gigahertz that's all right we can select it but i'll leave it uh, i'll only select the uh, 2.4 gigahertz and everything this one client authentication uh, settings uh, as default in the client authenticated key management key management we have to select uh, mandatory option then we have to enable wpa and select wpa version 2 and then we have to give a uh, wpa shared key the password uh, uh, I'll give the password capital Cisco one two three capi uh, capital C Cisco capital C one two three C I S Cisco one two three and uh, I'll leave everything as it was by default so yes yeah I'll click apply here because uh, I haven't done any chance below this portion so press ok okay already been applied if we select and cross check you can see the client authentication key management is mandatory and it's uh, WPA version 2 okay so the next step is uh, enable uh, wireless radio interface uh, radio interface uh, 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz so we are working on 2.4 gigahertz so uh, let's do this uh, to enable the wireless interface we have to go to network and uh, the network interface 
you can see the network interface here uh, the radio interface 2.4 gigahertz is down now currently so we can click here or we can go through here so i just click 2.4 gigahertz radio interface so you can see that there's a disable down so we have to go to setting we have to enable the interface just enable and i'll leave everything default as it is just apply okay yeah it's showing that it's enable but uh, we have to check here here it is still disable so we'll refresh refresh it yeah now it's showing enable so as long as uh, as soon as you uh, enable the interface radio interface it should be appeared in the uh, internet option wireless uh, network option so let's check it yes if we go to uh, wi-fi uh, internet connection uh, the ssid uh, wlan new should appear in the wi-fi let me check uh, yes uh, we can see the uh, wlan new we just uh, try to connect it so press connect yeah it's asking the uh, password the security key so we type the password cisco123 yes click next yes now it's connecting now it's connected we can check uh, that uh, the wlan new is connected if we go to the properties wlan new uh, you can see the ssid wlan new and the protocol wi-fi the security type wpa2 version 2 and the radio brand 2.4 gigahertz the ip address is taking ip from the dhcp 192.468.2.4 so So now the uh, next step is uh, save the configuration. So if we go to web interface, we can save the configuration. So we press save the configuration, press OK. Again OK. So now the configuration is uh, saved in the flash drive. So yeah, the configuration is done. Now we will check the connectivity and we'll browse internet. So if, if we go to the internet setting, uh, we can see the internet uh, connection is uh, already connected so we'll disable the ethernet connection so to do that uh, you can right click here open network sharing center go to network sharing center adapter setting so yeah uh, you can see the wi-fi wlan new is connected so we'll disable the ethernet connection we'll disable we'll disable the ethernet connection yeah now only the wlan new is connected so we'll uh, browse internet so we'll go to youtube type it support people Here is my YouTube channel. You can run a video. Yes, it's working. So it's accessing internet. And uh, if we if we uh, go to common prompt, Windows R, common prompt. If we ping the default gateway, for example, 192.168.2.1. Enter. Yeah, it's uh, doing ping successful uh, if we go to my desktop pc and uh, check the wi-fi connection if i press wi-fi you can see the wlan new is here so we uh, click here and connect it's checking the network requirements it will ask the wpa version 2 security key yeah, it's asking the security key i'll give the password yes click next yeah now it's connected and if you go to the properties uh it's showing you can see here the wlan new and the ip address 192.168.2.5 and the security type so 
the IP is 192.168.2.5 if we uh, Uh, if we browse internet through this uh, desktop PC, if we go to the Chrome browser and go to YouTube, uh, if we press IT support people, yeah, this is my channel, IT support people. Yes, if we click one video here. Yes running so cool it's accessing internet using the IP 192.168.2.5 finally we uh, check the SSID and uh, Wi-Fi uh, connection and the security key we check the IP address and we uh, connected uh, my desktop uh, and laptop to the uh, Wi-Fi connection and we browse internet so we successfully configured the Cisco access point uh, using GUI and we check uh, uh, connectivity and browse internet so uh, everything is done so uh, thanks for watching if you think this video is helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and you can let me know any queries through comments your little appreciation will inspire me to make the next video thanks for watching